Okay, I'm at a pretty special event. Something I haven't done on my channel before. And here it is. Repticon. It's basically a reptile exotic animal convention. Which I'm pretty excited. I wanted to go to one before, but um, I didn't make it at a time. This one is at the R, I think it's called the RT Funding Center now. It used to be called the Lakeland Center in Lakeland, Florida. So I'm gonna check it out, see some cool animals. Don't know if I'll pick one up today myself. I already have like three lizards. Let me show you this thing. Look at that. Huge snake. Hey, right, let's um, let's go inside and see what's in there. All right, I've been stamped. I paid to get in, and here we go. And what a cool looking entrance too. Ooh. Snake. I'm thinking about getting another one though. This is what it looks like in here. A lot of different vendors. I think they have some seminar things that has to do with reptiles and stuff. I don't think I'll be partaking in any of them right this minute. This time around, mainly just want to look around. Give me some ideas and some reptiles that I want to get in the future, and I can always pick up more information. But um, I'll look around and show you some interesting things. It's a black roughneck monitor. He's cool looking. He's amazing looking at him. That's an Argus monitor. I also have some cool merchandise just for Repticon itself. This booth right here in the corner. <laughs> well, if you're in for the mood to buy a stuff, a uh, Burmese python, stuffy, now you got one right there. This place is incredible. I've never seen so many um, never seen so many reptiles in my life. And turtles and tortoises. Um, I thought I heard some birds. I did say there's be some other exotics other than just reptiles, but primarily reptiles at this um, convention. Choice. Put this on your, uh, on your biscuit. Protein. Not bad prices either. Cool for your dragon. That was a solid part. <laughs> a lot of cool looking, a lot of cool looking jewelry too. This turtle and um, animal related. Pretty neat. Yeah, I've got spiders and scorpions here. No. I don't, I don't think I'll begin a spider or scorpion. Some of them are pretty big, these spiders. There's some taxidermy stuff. Poor little buckies. Some skulls and things. No, I don't think so. Uh, cool taxidermy stuff, but uh, that's a bat. Very neat. 
I'm gonna have to be seeing about buying one of these. She's gonna think about it. Yeah. That one's pretty. I'm gonna have to come back. I don't know, really wanted that one though. Kind of creepy, but still cool. Thinking about buying one of these guys. These are the Redfoot ones. I've seen them at a couple different pet stores. Pretty awesome. That's a Mexican musk. And the yellow ones there. Look at how big those are. I'll be fine to buy. These are a good ones to get, the red foot ones, because they only get so big. And I think about the size, from what I understand. This is a 2K. I've been thinking about buying one of them. Very pretty, but I heard they could be temperamental. A couple of them. I have to think about that. I tell you, I never knew there were so many size cages in tanks. You definitely see a, a far more bigger variety here than you would at any pet store that i ever been to. Now, these are albino Pac-Man frogs. Look how pretty they are. There's emerald Pac-Man frogs. Green Pac-Man frogs. Which one? Which one? Oh. Yeah, Sunburst Pac-Man frogs. Wow. I never had a frog as a pet. They're incredible looking, aren't they? I've only went through a small part of this place. There's a lot here. There's some cool pretty birds too. guinea pig, birds, frogs, and there's feeder things, feeder bugs for the really different reptiles. Arboreal alligator lizard, cool. It's a really large toad, a Colorado river toad. I could film all day. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to make this video too huge. That used to be a 2K. Yeah. Pretty butterflies. Wow. It's all real too. So cute. He's so cute. 
Lots and lots there in blue tongue skinks. I used to have one. They're beautiful creatures. And the tongues are actually blue too. I never knew that um, there are so many kinds. They're expensive. I've seen some up to 2000 here. I got mine from a rescue, so mine was a lot cheaper. But um, there's the ones that have them if you want them. That's a common marmoset. Look how cute he looks. Maybe a year. All right, I just wanted to film a quick um, basically report and why I thought of Repticon. It's been a few days. I actually meant to do this sooner and get up right away, but I didn't get a chance. You know what? I loved going to this. It was very interesting, a lot of education. For the most part, everyone there I met generally, except for for one person, was actually pretty nice. Um, there, would I seen a lot of people ask questions, and the the, the um, vendors were pretty helpful in answering questions about different reptiles. I noticed that what's there the most is snakes, snakes more than everything. But I saw other kinds of reptiles. I saw some birds. I saw I think it was a marmoset. I think it was. I showed on camera. Um, Hairless guinea pig, uh, lots of turtles, uh, tortoises, um, insects like spiders. Uh, what else? Um, oh, um, toads and frogs, which I've shown on camera, which I knew ahead of time they were going to have different exotics, and it's not, not just reptiles. But there was a lot of people there. You know, sometimes I had to go a different route instead of going down where I planned to because there's a lot of people going around. I've seen a lot of people buy things, buy reptiles. I just hope all the reptiles I got bought that day and the day before, I hope whoever got them took, takes care of them. But I know in a case that some of them aren't going to be taken care of. But they also had a lot of um, supplies you need for the animals too. I've seen tank sets, which I showed, uh, heat emitters, bulbs, um, food. Um, crickets, cricket food, um, many different, like I said, tanks and cages, a whole bunch of stuff you could um, use for your reptiles or whatever exotics you have. And I noticed it was a pretty good deal on a lot of them. Um, some of those things like the bulbs, for example, $6 for a bulb that if I go to my local pet store, it would be double that. So you get a lot of good deals, not just on the reptiles themselves and the other exotics, but on the supplies you need for it. So that's definitely a time to go if um, you're in, into that stuff. But only do it um, first educate yourself about the animal. If you haven't if you haven't gotten one before, make sure you're fully prepared, you know, do it before you go there and possibly purchase one. I didn't purchase a um, a reptile. I almost did. There were some corn snakes that I was looking at that I really liked. I do have a snake now, I have a ball python. I didn't get one now. I'm thinking about it. I probably will next time. Maybe. It all depends. But um, I was impressed with the variety there. I'd never seen so many different reptiles in my life, especially snakes. And some of the color patterns on them were so pretty. It was really amazing. And I am, what I tell you, I got, came this close to also thinking about getting that hairless guinea pig. It was so cute. I may in the future. Just now, my situation isn't that. It's not. Uh, and I'm not really in full position to add another um, non-human family member. I already have several I'm taking care of right now. But in the future, hopefully not too far away, I'm definitely going to um, add to the family, so to speak. That is it. It was Repticon. It took place for two days this past weekend. Uh, check the website. They have their schedule. Uh, it was in Lakeland, Florida. At the, I think it's the RP Funding Center, I think it's called now. It, for many, many years, it was called the Lakeland Center. And um, that's pretty much it. If you have any comments or questions, put them below. I'm always happy to answer your questions. I look forward to talking again soon. Thanks for watching. hope everyone has a nice day. Bye, everybody. Bye.